And we begin with breaking news. A 14-year-old boy just beginning to live was killed tonight. And he becomes part of a growing statistic, joining the more than 100 children shot this year and more than 450 homicides. Kimberly Davis is at police headquarters with the very latest. Kimberly. Yuki and Jess, that teen, was rushed to Einstein Medical Center, but was pronounced dead just 10 minutes after that shooting. And now yet another family is dealing with the grief of a murdered child. For one family, Philadelphia seems anything but the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. After their 14-year-old loved one was gunned down on the 5900 block of Masher Street in the only section of Philadelphia just before 515 Thursday evening. According to police, the teen was shot once in his chest and once in the back. Councilmember Kenyatta Johnson is the chairman of the Special Committee on Gun Violence Prevention. He's been working to curb the growing problem. But I believe ultimately it's going to take all of us um, working together to get involved and address this issue. And again, I will say um, the people in the community have to be sick and tired of, of being sick and tired. I put a call out to every community activist, every community leader, and every person that's concerned about this issue that they need to make some noise and figure out a way to get involved to address this issue of senseless gun violence. At this hour, the shooter still remains on the streets. Police have not been able to recover any weapons, and they are hoping for some leads. If you have any information that could help detectives out in their investigation, just do the right thing and give police a call. We're live outside of police headquarters. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Kimberly, thank you.